welcome to yet another episode of Knock Maths Out the Ballpark with me, Mr. Clark. Hopefully you've seen all my other times table videos and you've tackled them in order, learning your two times table, then your 10, then your five, then going on to your threes, fours, um, sixes and eights. And then hopefully at some point you've hit my six fact challenge. I shouldn't say my six fact challenge. Thanks to Ben Harding and Big Maths for giving me the, the, the use of the term. Um, I should say, maybe you haven't given me permission, but I don't care. Okay, now we're moving on to the seven times table. Now, as I said, if you've learned the six fact challenge, you should know these sums from back to front. So our level one, we've done our practice summing of our accounting. So level one is um, seven times one, seven times two, seven times five, seven times 10. If you're working with your a friend or you're working with your mom or dad or mom and dad, if you're working with your child, start with these ones, seven times one, seven times two, seven times five and seven times 10. They get them going, get them fast. Seven times three, seven times four, and seven times six. That was the next three times tables that we started working on. And then I'm giving you the final one, seven times seven, seven times eight, and seven times nine. If you work on these in that order, you will get quicker and quicker with your seven times table, okay? As I said, the most important thing is doing your six fact challenge. Because remember, you know these sums backwards. Four times seven is the same as seven times four. 2 times 7 is the same as 7 times 2. So if you've practiced those previous times table, 7 times table is an absolute breeze, okay? So work at it, practice it. We don't get better at anything without practicing. Promise me you'll do it because if you do that, you'll make your own mathematical dreams come true and you'll become mm -hmm, the Beyonce of maths. I'm one step closer. 